Human error, the mistakes that we wish didn't happen but are inevitable. Medical malpractice is more than just human error though. It can also include intentional mistakes and deception in the medical industry. From prescribing medicine someone doesn't actually need to giving false diagnoses just to get an additional patient, there are all sorts of ways medical malpractice can occur. Hold on to your seat because these facts are going to blow you away. Hi everyone, I'm Matt from Tactics, and today I'm going to share more than 25 shocking medical malpractice statistics. Before we get started though, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button below. While you're down there, hit that alert bell icon next to it as well so when we post new helpful content, you get notified. Let's first talk about malpractice in general. 10% of all US deaths are now due to medical malpractice. That is a lot of people. In addition, between 7,000 and 9,000 patients die every year from medication errors. So which doctors are most likely to make these mistakes? Well, according to the statistics, 95% of physicians face at least one lawsuit by the age of 65 years old. To make it worse, 5-10% to of all physicians have had sexual contact with patients. Which state is the worst for malpractice? New York. There were 16,700 reports in New York between 2009 and 2018. Now let's talk about the medicine side of medical malpractice. Many people believe that doctors prescribe too much medicine or prescribe things patients don't actually need. Let's look at these statistics. When 2,000 physicians were surveyed, they said that 22% of prescription medications were given were actually unnecessary. In addition to that, about 30% of outpatient antibiotic prescriptions are unnecessary. In fact, 27% of doctors in the survey I just mentioned say that patients can be prescribed antibiotics when the doctors know the drugs won't help. The CDC said that anywhere between 20% to 50% of antibiotics given in acute care hospitals are inappropriate. Misdiagnosis is another issue that surrounds medical malpractice. Receiving unnecessary treatment can be a patient's worst nightmare, especially when there are bad side effects and massive expenses involved. You see, about 12 million Americans get misdiagnosed each year. What's worse is that more than 100,000 die or are disabled each year due to misdiagnosis. On one hand, 21% of patients receive an outright wrong diagnosis. On the other hand, 66% of patients get a diagnosis that is not quite right, but is still on the right track. Now let's shift gears and talk about misdiagnosis malpractice claims. 22% of malpractice claims filed by hospitalized patients were diagnosed related. 38% of claims involve misdiagnosing kit. Surgery is another way human error can affect the well-being of a patient. You see, about 17% of 2,000 surveyed doctors said that they performed unnecessary procedures for profit. Yikes. On top of that, 4,000 surgical errors occur each year. 59% of errors result in temporary injuries and 40% of errors result in permanent injuries or death. The last topic we should talk about concerning medical malpractice is mental health. 60% of people who receive a diagnosis of major depression don't actually have it. In fact, less than half of 50,000 patients were actually correctly identified with depression by general practitioners. Similarly, a 2008 study found that 57% of adults diagnosed with bipolar disorder did not meet diagnostic criteria upon more comprehensive diagnostic review. In terms of the legal side of malpractice, 41% of U.S. psychiatrists face a malpractice lawsuit at least once. Also, one-third of psychiatrists managing their legal risk between 2015 and 2016 had claims involving incorrect treatment. 22% of those were for medication issues, 15% included suicides or suicide attempts, and 6% were for misdiagnosis. Although these statistics may cause outrage, mistrust, or sadness, it is important to remember that there are so many good doctors out there. Doctors exist to help us deal with our medical problems and want to see us get better. There are greedy people and unethical people in all industries. Human error occurs in all industries as well. Just because we have proof that there are bad doctors doesn't mean that all are bad. Just make sure to get a second opinion to help mitigate the chances of dealing with malpractice. If you'd like to learn more about healthcare related statistics, reach out to eTactics. And you already made it this far into the video, so you might as well like it, share it, and comment below. Well, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to our YouTube channel.